deviated nasal septum here and then a high arch palate. This one is a rhinolith. Here is the rhinolith. This one is the retropharyngeal abscess. You can clearly see the abscess over here. It has a cold abscess and it has also caused erosion of these vertebra as well. And uh, also the curvature of the spine is affected. It is straight and it's a cold abscess and it can cause respiratory obstruction. This is the uh, transorbital view. Here we mostly use to do it to see the petrous part of temporal bone and the labyrinth and the semicircular canals. This is the pyramid here of the petrous bone. This is the base. This is the apex between the two lips. This lip and this lip is the internal acoustic meatus. It's a black shadow. Same as the case over here. Base, apex, triangle. One lip, second lip between it. Here is the internal acoustic meatus. If you see this acoustic meatus is bigger than this one. So it means there may be some tumor or some mass or any growth over there. Okay. This one is the adenoids. Here, it's the big adenoids. And similarly, this one is also the adenoid. You can take it. But since see over here, it is 13 years, so it can be an uh, nasopharyngeal mass, for example, an angiofibroma. And uh, yeah, so adenoids and adenoids. This one is the view of mastoid, and it so shows mastoid sclerosis. This one is an uh, excellent of old person and over here you can see this maxillary sinus is clear but this one is not clear, it's really hazy, you cannot even make out the boundaries and there is growth over here, so this most probably is a maxillary carcinoma. Now this one is a lateral view, if you can see over here there is uh, opacity and this is a foreign body, most probably a button and it has been inhaled, so this is a foreign body and this, this is the air rings, air rings and foreign body, so yeah that's all.